Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the field lease. But before that, this video is brought to you by Gold Pan Fam and Brad. Thank you for being farm barons. So back in Farming Simulator 17, we had the Bank of Hagenstadt, which allowed you to lease fields. Farm Sim 19, I'm sure there was a field leasing system with Global Company, but we'll just put those dark times behind us. And now we have in FS22, the field lease, which will once again allow us to acquire fields on a short-term lease, as opposed to having to go all in and purchase the land. Now the field lease mod does have additional scripts, so it is a PC only mod. It can be downloaded over the farmingsimulator.com website or the downloadable content menu. Now let's talk about this mod a little bit. Go to the escape menu. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom until we get to this icon here. And this is our lease farmland menu. From here, I have loaded this map up in farm manager. So we do not own any fields at the start. But if I do buy a field, there will be a section up here at the top that says owned fields. Once we lease a field, there will be also a section that is listed for leased fields. And then free farmlands is listed below. Now, the first thing you need to understand is farmland and a field number are not the same thing. For example, farmland number one includes fields 44, 45, and 46. Farmland two includes just field 49. So a farm land can include multiple fields or it can be a single field, but the farm land number does not exactly equate out to the field number. That's some very important things to remember here at the start. Now we are way down here in the southwest corner of Elm Creek and we are interested in this plot of land right here. It includes field 64, 65, 66, and 67. It also includes the Southwest Farm and can be bought for $243,000. We go here to our leasing menu. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the fields column until we find the fields that we are interested in acquiring. And it is right here. So farm land 60, corresponds with field 64, 65, 66, and 67. It is four hectares in size. We can buy it for $243,936. We can actually buy it, our land from this menu if we wanted, but what we are interested in is leasing. Now you're gonna see a new cost here, cost per day. So we can lease this property for $4,878 per day and this is an important point i want everybody to understand the least cost per day is truly a cost per day this is not a cost per month if you are playing with one day months then one day is a month and good for you it's going to be most effective for your particular gameplay if you are playing two day months well suddenly your land is going to cost you twice as much per game year so instead of having 12 installments of 4878, now you're going to have 24 installments of 4878 because there's no scaling based on the month duration. And heaven forbid if you are playing 28 day months because you are going to be paying a fortune to lease your land. So based on the number of days per month, you're going to want to calculate out how costly leasing a field is truly going to be because the way I see it, Instead of buying a field and, quote, flipping it by buying a field that's ready to harvest and then harvesting it and then selling it, you could lease the field as opposed to buying it for less money, but be very, very careful because of the daily cost is truly a daily cost. So let's go ahead and lease this land. You're going to see it's going to cost us $24,000 to initiate the lease. Okay, think of this as processing fees, banking fees, 
all those various fees to get all the parties together in order to get a lease created, signed, and official. Going forward, it's going to cost us $4,878 per day. As I said, that is legitimately per day. So now that we have that land, you can see there is a leased section. And again, as I said, if we owned land, there would be an owned land up here at the top. I did not own any land here because I wanted to make this as clean as possible. If we take a look at our finances screen. You're going to see that this expenditure is showing up here under land purchase right there. I'm going to go ahead and put down a farmhouse. Now that we are leasing this land, you can indeed build on land that you are leasing. And I'm going to fast forward one day. And we're going to see that we are going to be charged $4,800.78 per day in order to lease this particular property. So you can see now we have $4,878 is deducted as a miscellaneous income. I'm going to see that right here, 4878 miscellaneous income. If we come in here and change our days per month, to two, okay? I'm gonna have to fast forward until we get to December before this is gonna take effect. So let me just do a quick little cut. Welcome to December. As you can see, our days per month has now been changed to two because it's listed as December 1st. I go ahead and sleep through the day and come into the second day of December. You're gonna see that we are still charged 4878 because it is indeed per day. I know some people are gonna be like, well, maybe it's because you started the lease in one day months and then you changed it afterwards to two day months. No. I've tested this already. I've tested this by initiating a lease after I was already into a two-day month, and my cost per day was still the exact same. So here we are, December 2nd. Go ahead and fast forward one more day, and you're going to see, yet again, we're going to be charged for $48.78 per day. If this mod was updated, I would like to see it to be charged per month. That way it scaled well for players of any month duration. But at this point in time, you are severely hampered if you are playing this in a longer days per month cycle because basically at two days per month, it's going to cost you twice as much to lease the field to go from, let's say, plant to harvest as it would if you played with single day months and if you played with four day months, for example, it's gonna cost you four times as much in order to lease that field. And at some point, it's gonna be way too expensive to use the lease mod as opposed to buying. As you can see here in September, 4878, 4878 in October and November, but now December, we are talking 9757 because we are now in two day months. Let me know what you all think of the field lease mod down in the comments below. Did you make use of a leasing system in previous farm sim games that you were participating in? And until next time, happy farming.